Okay, so let's have this problem. So for a composite function, then we have these given two functions, the f of x and the g of x. And to find the value of this function, since we can rewrite this function as f of f of x, then since f of x is equal to x squared minus 1, so therefore this becomes f of x squared minus 1. Then to find the value of this function, since f, so therefore from f of x, but x is equal to x squared minus 1. So therefore, this x becomes x squared minus 1, then to the power 2, and minus 1. Then to expand the square of a binomial, so using this method, the SMS, so S, the square of the first term, so the square of x squared, then plus M, that's multiplication, so multiply these numbers, so we have 2 times negative 1 times x squared, then plus S, the square of the second term, so the square of 1, that's 1 squared, then minus 1. Then to simplify, so exponent raised to other exponent, that's multiplication. So 2 times 2, that's 4. So this becomes x to the power 4. Then multiply, so 2 times negative 1, that's negative 2. And negative 2 times x squared, so we have negative 2x squared. Then plus 1 squared, that's 1, then minus 1. Then simplify, so we have now f of f of x equals, so combine like terms, so copy x to the power 4. This one is negative 2x squared and positive 1 minus 1, this one is 0. So therefore, this is now the value for f of f of x. Then for this function, so we can rewrite this function as g of g of 5. Then to find the value of this g of 5 from g of x, but x is equal to 5, so therefore g of 5 is equal to 1 over so this x is equal to 5. So we can rewrite now this function as g of g of 5 and g of 5 is equal to 1 over 5. So to find now the value of this g of 1 over 5 from g of x but x is equal to 1 over 5. So therefore this becomes 1 over x and x is equal to 1 over 5. Then to simplify, so we have 1 times the reciprocal of this 1 over 5, so that's 5 over 1. Then simplify, so we have this one is over 1 and for multiplication, so multiply the numerators. So 1 times 5, that's 5. Then over 1 times 1, that's 1. So therefore, the g of g of 5 is equal to 5 divided by 1, that's 5. 